We asked seven YouTubers what their favorite Nintendo games were. Here's what they had to say. Hey everyone, it's Kit, formerly of Nintendo Minute and currently of the Kit and Krista podcast. I'm here to tell you about my favorite Nintendo game of all time. And look, I'm wearing a Mario hoodie for all of my life. I have been a diehard Mario guy, but guess what? My game is not a Mario game. It is actually The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And oh, I just happen to have it right here, signed by some of the development team. Wow, look at that. Um, you might be wondering, why is that my favorite game? Well, my gosh, it completely revolutionized what the Legend of Zelda series was all about, and it introduced gameplay mechanics that you still aren't seeing in open world games today. The way that everything works together, that sort of chemistry between the character and the world into this one cohesive experience is something that I haven't experienced since then, and I can't wait to see more of in the sequel that's coming up soon. So I still love Mario, but The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, that's my favorite Nintendo game ever. Hi, it's Krista from the Kitten Krista podcast and the Kitten Krista show. Let's see, my favorite video game of all time has to be Super Mario World. I have loved this game since the first time I've played it. I feel like this is a game that just has so many little secrets that you can discover no matter how many times I've played, uh, how many times I've beaten it. Every time I go back, I just find myself discovering something else um, hidden in the world and I just love it so much. So yeah, that's it. Hands down, my favorite game of all time has to be Super Mario World. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and we'll see you guys later. Bye. Hi, I'm Prochara, a Splatoon YouTuber. I got the game randomly back in 2015 as a gift because it had a Wii U and that console didn't have a lot of games on it. And I ended up really liking it. I started playing the game competitively and realistically, I've just never put this amount of hours into a game before. So what makes it so appealing to me? Well, at its core, Splatoon is a movement-based shooter and movement really takes center stage here. By transforming into squid form, you can swim around at about double the speed of normal as well as climb up walls. With techniques like substrafing, you can change direction incredibly quickly. The greatest thing about the movement though is it's accessible to every single weapon. Personally, my two most favorite weapons are also some of the slowest and the fact that I can play both slow weapons but also have insanely fast mobility is really fun to me. The second thing I've grown to like about this game is the variety. There are so many different weapon classes from blasters, rollers, sloshers, splatlings, chargers, dooleys, bows in Splatoon 3. There's so many of them, each with their own different variants that are unique from each other. This game has a massive variety and the balance between these weapons is still rather good. Switching between a lot of the different options out there just helps keep the game fresh to me and greatly extended how often I want to play it. Splatoon has a lot of other great things going for it, such as the quick matches, amazing story, cool world, and a lot more. But to me, the movement and variety are what really sells the game to me and it's why it's one of my favorites. So I can't wait for Splatoon 3 to improve on these aspects even more. Hey guys, today I've been brought here to talk about my favorite Nintendo game. And beyond shower of a doubt, it has to be Super Mario Galaxy 1. That game is so much fun. Because it takes place in the galaxy, you can basically go wherever you want. You can be one level in like a haunted grave site. Next level, you're in a giant beehive. Then you can be surfing with penguins. It's so awesome. Each level is so much fun. When you leave the levels, you just want to go right back into them because they're so much fun. But you also can't wait to go to the next level because of how awesome you know it's going to be. The hub world is one of the best in the entire gaming genre. I love the hub world. You know, being able to unlock new areas, it's so awesome. The characters in it, the star bits, everything about it. It is so much fun. And it is probably my favorite game ever. Not just my favorite Nintendo game. My favorite game ever. The main reason why I want to buy a Nintendo Switch is just because I want to see the continuation of the Mario series and the Nintendo Switches. That's really the only reason why I'd ever buy a Nintendo Switch. I really only have a Wii, but that's how good Super Mario Galaxy is. It's a, it makes me want to buy other N Nintendo game consoles. Anyway, that's my favorite Nintendo game. Thank you, guys. What's up, YouTube? My name is Smools, a Nintendo and variety gaming channel, and my favorite Nintendo game has definitely got to be... Super Mario Galaxy 2. I know it's pretty common to think that the sequel to something brilliant is always going to lack the same passion and charm, but Super Mario Galaxy 2 says screw that and completely expands and improves the formula created by Super Mario Galaxy 1 to create the ultimate 3D platformer. Because it takes place in, well, everywhere, no feasible location, Super Mario Galaxy 2 has so much variety in its level design with zany and wacky environments you would never be able to find in any ordinary game. 
Super Mario Galaxy 2 also has so much built-in replay value that it's just a great game to sink your teeth into where the fun doesn't end for hours and hours. Super Mario Galaxy's movement and physics were already perfected to a T. Simply transferring a game that feels so good to play as engine into a game that strives in level design creates the ultimate all-around Mario experience. So if it's been a minute since you've played, it came out more than 10 years ago, it's definitely a title worth revisiting. I promise you won't be disappointed. Hey, this is Ben from Overlord Arcade. Picking a favorite Nintendo game is undeniably tough, but my mind quickly thinks of one title I can pick up and play anytime, any day. I've got a soft spot for the classic boxing series Punch-Out, for reasons I can never super put my finger on. Is it a fighter or a puzzle game? Yes. However, Super Punch-Out for the SNES, in my opinion, is the peak of punchy perfection. 16 colorful fighters with unique attacks, tells, and frame-perfect windows of opportunity to dodge and counter. Right out of the gate, you've got more opponents than any other entry in the series. Okay, the Bruiser Brothers are almost a palette swap of each other, but they're very different fights, I swear. I love how this game, over any other home console installment, feels so much more aggressive in your playstyle. You're not given three long rounds to wait for ample dodge chances, you're given one tight round of three Nintendo fun minutes to decimate each fighter. In some cases, you're going to need each second if you play too conservatively, so more than ever, becoming the aggressor is key to winning. Overall, I found Super Punch-Out to be the most rewarding game in the franchise to learn and to try to master. Hey, I'm still swinging to beat my personal best to this day. Hey, my name's Crunchu. This is my channel. This is my best friend who's a horse. Okay, 60 second -ish review thing, let's go. Choosing the best Nintendo game for me is not an easy thing, man. Like, Nintendo has such a very large and high-quality selection of games, with so many of them being to the top dogs of their respective genres. Like, Breath of the Wild and Wii Sports Resort are both cinematic masterpieces, but are aiming and achieving completely different things. Except for the Island Flyer minigame, that made me feel Breath of the Wild levels of magic exploration. But anyways, it made me realize I had to focus on what connected with me emotionally. Boom! <laughs> that was from Ted's story. Alright, now one thing you gotta know about me is that I love Mario. I dressed as him for Halloween with my best friend, he was dressed up as Luigi. I love the old dick cartoons, they were my bible. I still sleep with my Mario Kart blanket. I remember I was like 8 years old and I saw this demo for the game at Walmart and I was immediately hooked. I got the game sometime later and I find out, put the disc, not the disc, the cartridge in, in my DS and I was like, you're telling me I have a game with my two favorite characters of all time that emphasizes their personality where you explore a fully realized fantastical and imaginative mushroom kingdom all wrapped up in a super fun, engaging, and unique turn-based RPG game? Well, sign me- OH MY GOD, YOU PLAYS BOWSER! Hi, I'm Beguiled and my favorite Nintendo game is Mario Kart 7. This game was awesome. Like, this was my childhood right here. I went from getting this game at 6 years old and playing it right up until the age of 10. And those were the best 4 years of my life. I think that part of the reason why I liked this game so much was because I could play it literally anywhere. Driving to school, driving from school, driving into your local hospital. As for the content of the game, well... It's about what you'd expect from a Mario Kart title. You throw shells all over the place and... Hope to god they hit somebody. Looking back on it, I probably wouldn't enjoy the game as much today as I did back then, which makes sense, obviously, because it's a game for kids. My rating? 10 shells out of 15 Goombas. And Metal Mario's the best character.